Hello, welcome or welcome back. My name is Pauline, aka Like a Zillennial. I wanted to explain what exactly is a Zillennial because you know, not everyone knows what a Zillennial is. We know what a boomer is, we know Gen Z, we know millennials, we kind of know Gen X, but what are Zillennials? I feel like no one is really talking about it, and I am so tired of zillennial constantly being autocorrected to millennial like no i said what i said you know what i mean what better way to concisely explain what a zillennial is than by a zillennial herself i'm even wearing my old school vintage like early 2000 abercrombie cardigan for this so that should tell you you know this is from the logo all over the place abercrombie the shirtless guy standing in front of the store Abercrombie bags with the thick handles that you wanted to like reuse because they were so nice or to put on your like wall because it was aesthetic that Abercrombie I'm not talking about today's Abercrombie although I love today's Abercrombie as well I really like the quality and the styles they have okay I'm gonna sit down for this and I'm gonna try to keep it as short as possible and just straight to the point because I don't like when things get too like flowery and too detailed like we get it you know like i just want to be straight to the point with a little bit of lapping you know okay so this is for the kids growing up that or even now kind of feel like they don't fit in with millennials completely but then they also don't completely fit in with gen z and that's how i felt and that's how i feel and we are zillennials so zillennials are pretty much classified according to the handy dandy urban dictionary as the kids born between 1993 and 1998 sometimes it says like 1992 or 1999 give or take pretty much it's the generation in between millennials and gen z so we were the ones that you know we weren't technically like doing this with our hair in high school you know like millennials did but we also weren't tiktokers in high school like Gen Z is so we had vine it was like kind of dorky it wasn't like what what like tiktok is now I personally don't even understand tiktok like I just feel like it's not my vibe I mean I do think it's good for business but I don't know I'm not like Gen Z you know but then I'm also not completely like millennials either so I feel like we are the in-betweeners we're like called the cuspers as well and we carry certain traits and qualities from both generations but we're not exactly either one. So we have our own, which is Zillennials. And a lot of people don't talk about it. And it's funny because prior to even finding out that there's a term, I always felt like people would call me Gen Z, but then I also was like, but I'm not Gen Z. But then I was also not millennial. And I've always constantly had like this notion that I'm a little bit of both. And there's certain things where we understand millennials or we can relate to. And then Gen Z, there's certain traits or qualities that we have that are more similar to. So to tie that into place, it's essentially you're too young to relate to the most of millennials and you're too old to relate to most Gen Z. So that makes you a millennial just like me. So we are the kids that are in this transitionary period. We saw AOL dial up. We remember you know, hearing the da -na 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 -na, where like the internet was connecting and then you couldn't use the phone if someone was on the internet. And you know, Gen Z doesn't know that. They all, they knew what the internet was. Like they grew up with it. And you know, we had to call the house phone if we wanted to talk to our friends, like the landline, like what's a landline? I'm sure that's what people might say that are Gen Z. But this isn't to create divide, it's just to show that Zillennials exist and we are our own like hybrid version and to stop trying to like lump us in these two categories because we are our own category. I remember the sidekick, for example, the T-Mobile sidekick. It was so cool and I wanted one, right? But that was like when I was younger. But then once I hit high school, the iPhones came out. So 
the sidekick was kind of like obsolete in a sense like it wasn't cool anymore so i never really got a sidekick but it's things like that that we remember i remember aim i remember paint like when the um the computers came out we would just go on paint and just draw scribbles fill in and like paint bucket and all of that i remember playing millsberry neopets sims although sims is still a thing now but like the og sims where the graphics weren't as good and you know just all of that it's it's just a different it's a different generation we experienced the non iphones or the non like touch screen phones like we had the physical like keyboard like i remember i had a slide up phone or the flip phones we were there for all of that we saw it we even may have had it like the razors like the motorola razor or like the flip up i remember t-mobile had a turquoise blue one and like all of that whereas most of gen z if not all have never had a flip phone i don't even think yeah i don't think so because the oldest ones would be 2000ers i guess i don't know maybe maybe the oldest part of gen z has but that's not the point so yes that is what a zillennial is a zillennial is pretty much anyone born between 1993 and 1998 who is too old for relating to most of millennials and it's too young to relate to most of gen z so that is who we are we are the in-betweeners the people on the cusp and i am happy to be a zillennial and i am glad we have our own terminology now because people tend to just call us gen z and i'm like no i don't i don't think i'm gen z i think i'm actually like we're considered too old for gen z like gen z doesn't even relate to us as much but then they kind of do anyways i hope this really cleared up what a zillennial is i'm a zillennial let me know if you are a zillennial and if you have any childhood memories and anything you want to add i didn't want i could go on and on and on about zillennial childhood memories but this video would then be like an hour long so i wanted to keep it relatively short kind of but yeah, I hope you have an amazing rest of your day, night, morning, whatever it may be. And I will see you next time. Bye.